Yes, researchers were able to take an entire extra chromosome out of a human cell. This works using CRISPR, and there's a little bit of a controversy about it, and it goes far beyond things like Down syndrome. I would like to emphasize that we are not at the point of doing human trials yet, but this is a proof of principle. Now, people who have Down syndrome have been fighting for a very long time to be seen as fully human, functional. People with Down syndrome can live relatively normal lives. However, there are a lot of health conditions and a shortened life that come with it, and this is what this kind of treatment would do. Now, this would not change how somebody develops in utero. This could allow people to have healthier lives and have fewer negative health consequences down the road. The fear is that as gene editing becomes more common and more extreme, people are going to be purchasing children, essentially, and it's only going to be available for certain people. You could pick out a child with blue eyes, tall, or really intelligent. Yeah, there's a lot of movies about why that might not be a great idea. Now, this is why it takes a very long time for us to get to the point of doing gene editing in humans. It takes decades for these methods to mature and actually get to the point of doing clinical trials, and then they may never come to market, even though they have the possibility of really helping people. Now, when the Human Genome Project came to fruition in the early 2000s, we did not have the entire thing. This has to do with limitations in the technology. Our genomes have a whole lot of repeats, and that's just the limit for what they're able to sequence effectively. Technology has gotten significantly better, but we're not talking about a general human genome here. We're talking about individuals, and every individual is going to have a different code. For the idea of deleting an entire chromosome, you're going to be very specific about which one you get and make sure that you do not have crossover and attack another, which is a very difficult task to do. There is always a possibility when any gene editing is done at all that you hit the wrong target site, and that can be devastating. This means that every single person who gets this kind of treatment needs to be sequenced in their entirety and understand the risks that could happen. And that's just not something that an infant could consent to, and that's also an issue that needs to be considered. If there is the possibility of really bad outcomes, should they have a say in it? That's not to make you afraid of gene editing. It's shown itself to be remarkably safe, but these are things that do need to be considered. As we are talking about gene editing entire chromosomes, we're also getting to the point of making human DNA from scratch. Now, I have talked about this before. Researchers have made entirely new life forms from scratch, assembled artificial bacterial genomes, made it into a bacteria, and the same has been done for yeast. Yeast being also a eukaryote, so they have a genome like us, and it's much larger. As that project has come to fruition, people also want to create an artificial human genome, and this could take us so much farther. Like the Human Genome Project, a lot of science could come from this. We could understand ourselves much better. It could help so many areas of science. But it does kind of also have the possibility of turning into replicants. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think making synthetic human genomes is going to turn into cloning people. After all, no one has even come out and said that they successfully cloned a person yet. There have been a few hoaxes. Yeah, I remember that cult that came out like 20-some years ago and said that they cloned a person, but... They never actually brought any evidence. I do believe that cloning people is perfectly possible. It's just not likely that it has been done because somebody would want the fame from that. Kind of like that guy who gene edited some girls so that they would be resistant to HIV. He was all over the news and he's back in the lab. The real reason why we should not be cloning people yet is because of the negative side effects. Yes, when you are formed. You have to have gene imprinting. Epigenetics have to be aligned properly. You go through the process of being an adult and creating gametes and making children that are not related to you for a reason. That reason is probably genetic diversity. And while we can hijack that process, take a cell from an adult, turn it into a pluripotent stem cell, even lengthen the telomeres, which was originally an issue that, you know, clone children would be the same age as their parent. You can actually pay about $50,000 to clone your pet. And I'm guessing if you had enough money, someone would clone you too.